Hello and welcome back to another episode of Rescoli by Carlo, obviously on our YouTube channel Rescoli by Carlo. And today we are going to discuss this wardrobe behind me. Uh, it's taking quite uh, a long way to be finished and uh, I'm going to show you all the process through this video and through images uh, on this video how it started and what we did so uh, now I'm starting off by showing you what the wardrobe looks like now When this uh, wardrobe came in our garage, uh, it was already painted with uh, oil-based paint and it had quite an amount of um, layers of paint. Uh, at first we tried to sand it, uh, but the paint wasn't really that of that good quality so we decided to strip it down completely to bare wood and uh, it took quite some time because it's not a small piece uh, but then uh, we decided it was the best thing to do and uh, here I'm going to show you what were the difficulties the first problem we found was this border here yeah it's uh, it's a corner so it's uh, pretty much uh, uh, good but then here we found that it didn't continue and uh, when we talked to the owner of this wardrobe she told us to leave it as it is as it's in its own original uh, state. Uh, the front and the other side uh, were with panels, but this side it didn't have, so we just tried to create um, panels with, <coughs> with the raised stenciling. Now, what did we do with this? The first few coats were with uh we used uh, funky doro from the laser range and then we uh, used two other colors here there is nougat behind this uh, decoupage and behind this decoupage here we did like a maroon color mix so that the the, the decoupage would look a little bit different so what techniques with did we use here did we use here so we have uh, raised stenciling on the sides and here on the front we just wanted to, to to give a little more to the decoupage paper and here what we did basically we did these layers in this is funky dora here and this is plum pudding and we did image transfer 
on them. We cover it with uh, finishing coats and basically then we went on the other panels. We Here we did uh, two different types of decoupage so that the image would be divided between the two doors and below here the 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 other level is two different paper uh, decoupage papers as um, a decorative item when this was done we gave some dry brushing like you can see here all this is done with uh, cream dream over here we used a little bit of salt of the earth in the corners before we then applied the browning wax and here we have again the dry brushing we use dry brushing uh, with some plum pudding as well just to, to, to give a little bit more color so on this side of the wardrobe we used obviously the same colors we have funky dora we have a cream dream for the for the dry brushing and we did uh, raised stenciling on each panel what's here is some dry brushing with uh, a cream dream and plum pudding just to have it look a little bit more antiquated uh, we have the same here as I have already showed you and here as well uh, on this particular panel because it is the lowest uh, panel we increased the amount of browning wax and what we did so that it would be since it is the lowest part we managed uh, to, to recreate the bumps it might be having and the touching of children for example so uh, that was uh, taken into consideration as I have already explained on this side it was just one plain wood and uh, we wanted to recreate the idea of the panels by using the raised censoring and here we did with the same concept of the other side but we increased a little bit more the browning wax as seen here um, to give it a little bit more depth uh, especially uh, this part here we use different stencils with um, different amounts of browning wax to create this effect what happened uh, halfway through the process of finishing this wardrobe um, it was decided that the legs should be removed and uh, a new base created so we had to stop a little bit uh, until we actually had the new base and what we did here we do, did a little bit more of dry brushing with the plum pudding to create uh, a different perspective on the below area it will be easy to remove and manage and it can go back to its place with a uh, high up actually so what mm. techniques that we use here we use different colors we used we made use of dry brushing browning wax image transfers decoupage and raised stenciling again with browning wax
I hope that you liked our episode today. We have just gone through the restyling of the wardrobe behind me. Just a little reminder as to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want notifications uh, each time an episode is coming up, uh, just push the bell button next to subscribe. Then you can uh, also comment under our videos, give us your impressions, uh, your ideas, what would you have done with this wardrobe or anything similar to it. Um, we love the finished product as it's what our uh, client suggested and wanted. And uh, ta-ta, see you next time. What did we have to do with this? Hello and welcome back to another episode of Rescoli by Carlo. Obviously on our YouTube channel, Rescoli by Carlo.